If you want to create the amazing AI art images like these in just a minute, then I'm going to show you how you can use Midjourney and ChatGPT to create these. I will also show you a couple of simple tricks to get such artistic results. If you haven't used Midjourney before, you need not to worry as I will show you each step. You can skip this part if you already know about Midjourney and jump to the next part of the video. Using Midjourney, we provide a text as input known as prompt. It plays a key role and I will show you that how you can use ChatGPT to create those prompts. But first we will create images without ChatGPT. The Midjourney bot is available on Discord server. So let's first create an account on Discord if you haven't one already. Open the Discord website and click open Discord in your browser. Enter your name and solve the capture. Now it's asking for the email and the password to set against this account. If you will close this window, you will get an error here that this is unclaimed account. So enter your valid email and set the password. You will get an email for verification. Once verified, your Discord account is ready. Now go to Midjourney website. Click join the beta. It will direct to the Discord platform. Here is Midjourney server and there are different rooms inside the server. You can join some room and can see what other people are generating. We can add our prompt here but I feel distracted when my content is merged with others and then I have to search for my content. So I will create my own server from this plus shape icon, name the server anything. I need to have Midjourney bot in this server to feed my prompts. I will go to Midjourney server. From this icon, we can view and hide the members. I am looking for Midjourney bot. I will add that to the server I created a while ago. Now in this room, it's just me and the Midjourney bot. We can provide the prompt by writing the command slash imagine. Now you see it is asking for the prompt. First, we will try simple prompts and then we will have the detailed prompts and the prompt generated by ChatGPT. We can even write some single word prompt like abstract or fantasy or painting etc. Let's write phantom. First time we need to accept the terms of services. Let's provide the prompt again. It is generating the image, just wait. It has generated the four images. These are images 1, 2, 3 and 4. These options U1, U2, V1, V2, etc. are for the further modification of the images. V means variation which will create four variations of the selected image and U means upscaling which will upscale the selected image. We will use these in a while. Let me give you first cool trick here. If you want to generate an image full of colors, simply write RGB with the prompt. See the difference with just one little addition of RGB. Let's upscale image 1. And this is the upscale version of the image. I will try my next prompt as cute crystal deer. Here is the result. We can add more description like surrounding and the lighting and the results will be different. Now I will use such features but in a different prompt. Now let's give a detailed prompt as a landscape with mountain, lake with shadow and clouds. Now let's add more adjectives to this prompt like hyper realistic, ultra high definition, 8K for the quality. With prompts we can specify some options as well. The options are specified by two hyphen symbol. For example, double hyphen V means the version and we can choose the version 4 of Midjourney for better results. There are many other options which you can find on the link given in the description. Here is the generated image. Sometimes just adding a lighting description can change the results so dramatically. So let's use the same prompt and add one more attribute as bioluminescence lighting. Look at the difference. Let's create the variations of the second image. Let's try another lighting as golden or lighting. And the results are totally different.
Next week is adding different artistic feature to your image. For example, there is a simple prompt as a gorgeous woman portrait. But if I simply add one word as dripping art and let's see the effect. Look at that. All four images are so amazing. I will upscale the image one. See the high quality finish. Now I'm copying one prompt where I'm specifying a rabbit image in a Pixar movie style and a couple of other features including the aspect ratio as 9 ratio 16. And these are the super amazing results. You can see the fur detail here although it is not the upscale version. Let's try another simple prompt as a cyber turtle. And just look at these images. I tried this prompt a couple of times and these were the results. Now before I go to chat GPT prompt generation, I will show you a very simple and cool trick. In prompts, we can also provide the emojis and can get the cool results. Let's add two emojis, one as this detective spy emoji. And let's select second one as some place, maybe some building. Let's choose this building at night with stars. And here is the result. Now let's discuss about generating the prompts with ChatGPT. I have a mixed opinion about it. You know we need to have detailed prompts to get more customized output and ChatGPT can help us in that. But sometimes the mid journey can generate the similar results with the simple prompts. I will first show you the case where a simple prompt without ChatGPT and one detailed prompt by ChatGPT had not much difference. I used a simple prompt as something, a stunning beautiful female warrior, short red hairs, super detail, HD 8K and midway journey version is 4. And I got this result which is really a great one. Then I asked chat GPT to describe about the female warrior description I used in mid journey and I got a very detailed description. By the way, we can also ask chat GPT to update the results as nouns and adjectives separated by comma but I will copy the complete result as it is. And this is what we get. In comparison, I can see more armor detail on the one generated by ChatGPT prompt because ChatGPT added that detail to describe the female warrior. Now I will consider one image which was generated by a simple prompt and I will ask the ChatGPT to describe the prompt in detail. I can see that ChatGPT is providing very detailed description and there are amazing adjectives in this description. For example, casting a golden glow and many others. So let's provide this as prompt. See the results now which are super amazing and I believe quite better than the original simple prompt. Now I will show you one last result for which I generated the prompt with ChatGPT. I simply asked to describe a magical site full of stars at lakeside in artistic style. See the description generated by ChatGPT which at least I can't think of. When I tried this prompt, this was the result which is so magical. So here are my thoughts on using ChatGPT to generate image prompts. Of course we get very detailed output and I would suggest going through the text output of the ChatGPT and understand those adjectives and you can change those if needed or modify the ChatGPT input to get more detail. The description and adjective created by ChatGPT can give you a good idea to update your ChatGPT prompt and get even better description. So this itself is a learning process and ChatGPT for sure is very helpful. I'm planning more videos on effective use of ChatGPT to generate more stunning results. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.